Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. And today is the day that I finally get to pull my Razorback Musks out of quarantine and put them in their habitat. But I wanna show you guys how it's doing exactly as expected. So my Ferguson zone is right around one right here, which is exactly what I was hoping for, running around a 14% on here because we are about 20 inches away from the bulb. I'm running a 75 watt halogen, which is putting this to around 88 to 92 degrees right here on this stone. As you can see, the cottontail has, is starting to take over and I love it. There is fresh growth everywhere. The water lilies are growing extremely well. This bad boy put on almost a foot of length. And then these guys here, not only do we have baby shoots coming up, but they all put on almost, almost, uh, this one put up almost 18 inches of height. This one put up about 12 inches of height. So as I was hoping for, the plants are thriving. We did our water change last week. Uh, we did a 65% water change, did a water test, not really seeing any ammonia, not seeing any nitrites, but we are seeing a little bit of nitrates, which means that we are cycled. As you guys know, to facilitate the cycling process, I got some Texas bluegills in here, which are also thriving. These guys are eating bloodworms, they are eating fish flake, they are eating sinking pellets, and I can't wait to watch my, to watch my little turtles go in uh, and uh, get at them, especially as they put on size. But overall, my, my Texas biosphere has really come together, and I gotta be honest with you, when I come into work, I am always drawn to this habitat. It's like one of the first things I go to because it's just, I've always wanted turtles and I'm just super excited. So let's go get them. Woo! All right, so they've been in quarantine for a while. Um, you see, there's a lot of algae in here, which is okay. Um, they've been eating blood worms. They've been eating turtle pellets and a whole lot of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start pulling off some of the rocks here. Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at us. We're so angry. Look at our fat pockets. Oh my goodness, okay. And here we go. Number two. So Razorback Must Turtles, they are from Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. These guys will come out and bask every once in a while, but they do spend the majority of their time underwater, as you can see. Now they definitely put on a little bit of weight since I got them in and my goodness, are they an active little critter. So yes, I have, oh, this is so great. So eventually these fish here will get so big that I might have to re-release them. But this perch right here, I, I.e. the bluegill, he's already put on a good amount of weight and size. So what I'm gonna do, all right guys, this is your new home. Look how angry they are. Oh my goodness. Nom, nom, nom. All right. Here you go. Number one. You're getting bite in the rock. There you go, dude. Yes. We have lift off. There we go. Down we go. There they go. So. I'm fully expecting these guys to be pretty shy over the next couple days. I'm expecting them to eat, but I'm also in looking forward to them going through all the different rocks and crevices that I have built here on the, on the, the, the main centerpiece of the habitat. But what I'm really looking forward to is seeing some of their behavior with the substrate. Are they gonna be doing a lot of digging? Are they gonna be trying to go through and look for worms? So we are gonna be offering them an extremely varied diet here. Picking them up, obviously the Missouri turtle pellets, their earthworms, their bloodworms, their daphnia, and some of the uh, tubiflex worms, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but I do also am interested to see how many plants that they actually are going to eat. Because in the wild, um, it is noted that sometimes musk turtles in general may eat some of your plants in your habitat, which Looking at how well these things are doing is perfectly fine with me. Look at him, he's already starting to climb. You can, and you can literally see how he's literally climbing. So what's really interesting about musk turtles is in the wild, they are extremely good climbers. 
you may see them on thin branches. You may see them having to climb. So obviously that's something I'm gonna be paying attention to to make sure that we don't have any attempts at an escape. Although I don't think that is gonna be the case. And as you can also see, it appears that the fish are very curious of the new habitants here. This was probably one of the funnest builds I've gotten to do in years for me. All the planning and, and researching and just wanting an aquatic turtle for so long. Um, and of course, we're gonna check back in on these guys in, in a couple weeks to see how they're doing, as well as to make sure that they are getting you know, used to their new habitat and everything. But this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time planning. And I'm like, a, I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. This is freaking awesome. And look at the little spots on their head. Yeah, dude, explore. He's like, I don't know. I don't know you. I love it. I love it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this whole, this whole thing from start to finish. The quarantine, unboxing, everything. Again, this was something that I, I've been planning for a long, long, long time and I just never really figured it out um, until recently. And I'm just so glad I can take my ideas to, to fruition and share my love with everybody. You guys know me, I'm Josh Halter, I'm the owner and founder of The Bio Dude. You can visit my website, you can come here and see these guys. If you guys have any suggestions for names, feel free to drop a line in the comments because, you know, you know, it's either that or my daughter's going to name them and I don't know how that's going to work out. I really appreciate everybody's support. Do the bides. <laughs>